Hey, what's happening guys? I want to show you something pretty simple today that I know stumps a lot of beginner electronic enthusiasts and that's how do you go from a circuit schematic to the breadboard? Where do you plug things in and, and how do you do it compactly and neatly? Because, you know, keeping your lead length short is very important because wires can become antennas and when you're working with something that oscillates like a clock driver circuit or in this case an A-stable multi-vibrator you can end up you know with stray signals getting picked up so that's what I want to show you today what we have here is a simple 555 timer diagram set up for an A-stable multi-vibrator an oscillator basically uh, a clock signal depending on which capacitor we put at C1 here we can control the timing and it simply goes on off based on the voltage so let me move this a little bit out of the way here I'm going to show you how we're going to put this together now first of all here's our 555 timer and here's pin 1 there's pin 8 to get you a uh, a landmark the red line will be our positive voltage the blue line will be our ground whoops we're going to run this off a 9 volt battery which is a little bit high for a 555 timer but it'll be all right okay so the first thing we're going to do is look here and we see pin 8 goes to vcc so there's our positive voltage vcc pin 8 so I'm going to use a different breadboard jumper here just so that I'm not taking up so much room. Just like that. And we also know that pin 1 goes to ground. So we'll put that in down here. Am I in the right column? Yes. Okay. Now, let me bring this down here and zoom in a little bit. Well, what else goes to VCC? Pin 4 does. That's our reset pin. That's this pin here. So we could take a wire from here to there and then run down here. Or we could take a wire off pin 4 and run it up here. But you don't have to do that. All you really need to do is get a jumper, go from pin one, or pin four rather, to pin eight. Just like that. See what I did? Pin four to pin eight. Because that's coming off VCC. So now pin four is also at VCC. So do we have any other pins that we can connect together? Well, yeah, if you look here, pin 2 and pin 6 are kind of doing the same thing. So we can connect them. There's pin 6 and pin 2. So we have 1 and 8 and 2 and 6 connected together. Okay, so let's look again here at our diagram. We've got a resistor going from pin 7 also to VCC. So in this case, what I like to do is run our resistor vertically. And all you have to do is put it between 8 and 7. Just like that. Okay. Well, now we have a resistor running between 7 and 6. which we could also do vertically. But what I like to do is just go from 7 to 2. And why do I do that? Well, I'm going to show you right now. Because next we have this capacitor coming off here going to ground. We know pin 1 is ground. We know we have to go from 2 the ground so if we just simply put our capacitor in 
like that. The uh, anode on pin two, the ground on pin one, were all nice and connected. See how easy that is? Now we can run something from our output, you know, pin three. We use an LED. Pin 3 LED and a little current limiting resistor for the LED going to ground. And now we have a complete oscillator, clock driver, whatever you want to call it, multi -sta A stable, multi vibrator. All nice and hooked up with minimal leads, only. One wire each going to ground and VCC. And now we can hook that up. And if I connected everything right, we should get some flashing. There we go. We've got ourselves a clock driver. It's just that simple. You just need to look at what things are going to the same place. And that's what these dots in the lines means. It means that uh, different leads are connected together. So you see here, you have all these things going together right here. So that's why we ran that resistor from pin 7 over to pin 2, because it goes just like that, right to that side of that capacitor. Just like that. Pretty simple. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it helps you out. And please, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. We are getting very close to 100,000 subscribers. As I make this video, we are sitting at 97,222 subscribers. When I get to 100,000, I'm going to start giving away a bunch of cool prizes, including a soldering station, uh, oscilloscope, um, an Arduino Nano every uh, I've got an entire shelf full of prizes but I'm not giving them away till I reach a hundred thousand subscribers and that is up to you so please subscribe all right that's it I'm out peace